Hello all you amazing people, welcome back to the channel and another video. If this is the first time I'm meeting you, my name is Johnny from JMO Painting. If you're interested in learning more about acrylic pouring, resin art, and other art related topics, start right now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. And on that note, let's get into the video. Alright guys, today we're going to be doing a strainer pour. I've seen a whole lot of this done and I've always wanted to try it myself. Today we're going to give it a shot. The colors we're going to be using for this pour is Artist Loft Neon Yellow. I'm switching it up a little bit with the Deco Art Glorious Gold. Liquitex Basics Cadmium Red Deep Hue. Artist Loft Cerulean Blue. And Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. I'm going to split these colors into hot and cold colors in two different cups. We're going to do our pour. And the base coat that I'm going to be using is just a titanium white. Now I've diluted all these colors with my typical mix of two parts Floetrol to one part paint. Uh, it's definitely my favorite pouring medium that I've been using and I've been getting amazing results out of it. So with that said, let's get the paint on the canvas and start making our mess. sink strainer right there directly in the center and then we're going to start to mix our cups like I did say uh, we went over what the pouring medium was there is one drop of coconut oil hair serum in each one of these colors you don't need a whole lot of this a little bit of this goes a very very long way so how you guys doing this wonderful day I hope you guys are doing amazing. These are the same colors that I used um, during my flip cup last night. We did a live stream myself and, and Doris. I'm gonna flash a couple images of that uh, flip cup on the screen for you guys. It was a whole lot of fun. I really had a great time with Doris over there on the live stream. We had a lot of great engagement with the audience. It was amazing. I had a whole lot of fun. Uh, I will put a link to that video in the description. If you care to, go ahead and check it out after this video. And you know, leave a comment in the description. Doris is awesome. She tries to help bring some, some fellow artists together. And I'm also still kind of rolling around what my time schedule for live streaming will be. I've done a couple tests here recently just to kind of feel it out, kind of see when most people can be online. Because I know that everybody has a life. Everybody has different things going on. But live streaming has been a whole lot of fun for me. I've been enjoying it very, very much. And I've gotten really good uh, responses from you guys. A lot of wonderful feedback from you guys. And I, I appreciate it so much. It's very helpful to know which direction to take this channel, what content you guys are really enjoying. And it just makes me feel good to know that, you know, some of my stuff is giving a little bit of inspiration to fellow artists. Because I know that I draw a whole lot of inspiration from, from you all, too. All right. So when we pour it into the strainer, I'm going to be alternating between the hot and the cold colors with a little pop of white. In between, trying to add a little bit of extra contrast to it. I think it's gonna look really good. I've never done a sink or a strainer pour before, so I'm super excited about it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. The 
weather in North Carolina has been insane the last few days. It'll go from 60 degrees in the afternoon and last night it snowed. It's almost like it doesn't know what it wants to do. All right, so let's get into this pour now. Again, I got my hot colors in one color, cold colors in another. We're gonna do small semicircles, trying to make it a good contrast in between colors. So it's gonna almost be like a tree ring pour. colors kind of go together. That's glorious looking. Oh man, the cells in this are going to be so cool. Look at this cup already. There's already all kinds of cell structure in this cup. This is gonna be beautiful. Now we'll add that little pop of white that I was talking about. Oh, this is just white. There is no Floetrol, or there's a, there is no coconut oil hair serum, so there's no dimethicone or silicone in this at all. I just want to kind of break up the radiating lines with a, a solid stark color. Oh my gosh, this is going to be amazing. Just the cells that are coming out of this cup. Beautiful. blue left a whole bunch of red and yellow left with that gold on the inside really making it just pop the lines in this are just amazing of this blue after this stripe of white again. We'll do one more stripe of white because I don't know if I'm going to lose that last stripe I did. So then I'll, I'll do a very small one. Something very subtle. And that blue. Cooler colors. what kind of difference I'll get besides doing the tree ring. The first in the very beginning I did that tree ring pour around the center and now I'm just taking that bead of paint directly onto the uh, the peg in the middle of this strainer. Oh wow. The colors in this are so nice. a beautiful variation of colors right here. Right, so I still have a very small amount of blue and red left. I'm going to see if I can combine the two streams as they come out of the cup. Maybe get kind of a half and half. Whatever comes out of the cup right now will be directly in the middle. Yeah, there we go. There's not much left at all. So 
on the hold off on the red. I'm trying to get this blue down in there. That is gorgeous. I love this. We're already losing some off that end though. center you know all right so now I'm gonna carefully try to pull this strainer off without dripping too much and that's gonna be much easier said than done wow I love this this is beautiful Gorgeous contrast of colors. Starting off with that red and yellow on the edge was a great idea. I'm really getting a lot of that contrast like I was looking for. the edge there, bring it back to the center. This is just beautiful, you all. I'm just stunned at the effect that I'm getting out of this. It's really, it was much more than I thought it was going to be. These colors just really go well together. some white purling going on around the edges. That's kind of pretty. This is awesome. Now let's get that get that paint back to the center. This just looks so amazing. Wow. Even in the center where it almost kind of pooled there. Looks so good. Hmm. Whoa. I'm almost wondering what exactly is going to happen because, you know, there is there is the methicone in there. So when I hit it with the torch, I know it's going to bring some of that silicone cell structure to the surface and I'm, I'm thinking in the middle it's going to do a whole lot. In the sides I'm probably going to get a whole lot of very small cells. But I've since upgraded to a heat gun, a little less noise, so we're going to hit it with that and see what we get. close up. Super excited with the way this turned out. It came out way better than I could have hoped for.
If you made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And if you enjoyed the content, give me a like because it really helps the channel grow. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe because I put out content like this every Monday, every Thursday, and I don't want you to miss it. And if you want to watch a video just like this, click the screen right now and be taken to that video and I'll meet you there. I'll see you in the next video.